Greetings, friends, and welcome to another hotel review by Trizity Traveling. I'm your host, John, and today we're at the Princess Kaiolani Hotel on fabulous Waikiki, Hawaii. Like many tropical locations, the Princess Kailani public spaces are open to the outdoors. I guess you can do that when you have beautiful weather most of the year and not cold. The hotel features plenty of open space, a business center, and one of the main features is the lovely pool. the requisite tiki torches at night. And the main restaurant is the Splash Bar. During my visit, you could dine outside on the patio or grab takeaway. And for you music lovers, the Splash Bar included live music every night. Adjacent to the splash bar is a games area with foosball and ping pong. You get the equipment at the splash bar bar, I guess. While I was there, COVID requirements were still in place. This is no longer the case. Time to move upstairs to my guest room. And a pretty standard room, king bed. And I realized as I'm recording this that I forgot to get any shots of the bathroom. Shower tub combo in the bathroom and a single vanity. Water was provided each day. Closet on one side. And then the little cabinet over there. Mini fridge and a safe. Each room has a lanai. I had a ocean view lanai. And pool view, I guess. And there goes Brandon. I got to stop and do a little loop out here. Let me tell you that little loop when you uh, have no doors on your helicopter is a little freaky. Not gonna lie, it was super fun though. Well, it's time to wrap up my stay at the Sheraton Princess Kailani, a place I would highly recommend staying. But I'm in the shorter of the two wings of the hotel, and this is clearly the older wing of the hotel. And as the older wing, it has uh, significantly less power ports, plugins, things like that, things that we all need for our electronics these days. So to get around that, they've put in power strips. There's two different power strips in the room um, and one other outlet. So. Just be aware of that. You might have to be crawling on the ground to plug in your your power. Just outside the pool area, there is a little coffee shop, snack shop. It's like they had uh, Kona coffee. That's probably the easiest place to get your caffeine fix early in the morning and a snack, snack or ice cream fix late in the afternoon. Right around the corner from that is the ABC store where the, it's basically a convenience store gift shop. If you spend enough money there and save your receipts, you can get a free gift or multiple free gifts. For what it's worth, I got a coffee mug. I'll take it. I suspect the ABC stores have essentially cornered the market uh, on Waikiki here. I, I saw several of them, of them up and down this main road here. In addition to the one on the corner, there's one immediately across the street. There's two looking at each other across the street, which it's an interesting business model. Access to the beach from the Sheraton here is either through like, the Moana Surfrider across the street, or if you walk down half a block, there's a public access. If you didn't know, Waikiki is a very, very popular destination. The beach was the most crowded beach I've ever been to. So keep that in mind if you're coming to Hawaii. If you if you don't mind the crowds and you don't mind all the touristy stuff, Waikiki is definitely the place to be. If you're not a fan of all the touristy stuff and you want to get away, well, frankly, you should go to the Maldives. But if you're going to come to Hawaii, uh, this would probably not be the place for you. One other thing to mention, as the main road, uh, there is loud traffic day and night. 
Uh, keep that in mind. The sliding doors behind me do a pretty good job blocking out the noise, but uh, it, it is something to be aware of. The pool is not heated. Be aware of that. In the afternoon, it'll be in full sunshine and it'll be plenty hot outside, so you, I don't think you'll care. But if you go for a dip early in the morning, uh, it's chilly. Beach chairs and towels are available at the pool desk. You can take them to the beach without any problem. Every time I went down there for a beach chair, they were all gone. So they have a limited number of beach chairs and apparently an unlimited number of towels. So you can at least take a towel and sit on a towel on the beach. I had multiple meals at the uh, restaurant downstairs. With my Marriott Bonvoy status, I get complimentary continental breakfast or a discount on a full breakfast. So instead of 28 plus tip, my breakfast was $10 plus tip. So not bad. Everything on Waikiki seems to be pretty expensive. So keep that in mind. Uh, Hawaii is expensive. So if you have any questions or comments about the Sheraton Kaiolani Hotel uh, or the Waikiki area, I'm happy to answer those questions. I hope you have a chance to check out my helicopter tour as well as my day at Pearl Harbor. And I guess with that, I'm going to wrap it up today. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy travels, everyone.